Disney vacations, all-inclusive resorts, cruises and family trips to Idaho. Travel to your favorite place and have a celebration. Sandpiper Vacations. Broadcasting from the Sandpiper Vacation Studio. Welcome to Parents' Night Out with no new friends. The comedy break every parent deserves. This is the podcast where parenting meets pure, unfiltered fun. Real, raw, hilarity. (laughs) It's your night out without the kids, where nothing is off limits. And we say what everybody else is thinking. Whether you're a parent or just need a good laugh, we've got the adult humor you crave. So kick back, relax, and get ready to let loose with us. This is Parents' Night Out with no new friends. Tuck your kids into bed. Pay the babysitter a little bit extra. It's time for Parents' Night Out with no new friends. I'm your host, Scott. There are so many different ways to connect with us. All of our links are on our social media, no new friends podcast.com. They're all right there. We are live every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the YouTube. You can see us as we're recording this thing live. I'm surrounded by an amazing cast of characters, the scumbag reselling hoarder himself, Chris. You better thank a union member. The Jewish American princess, Sarah. Hello. Our emotional support gay, Nick. It's me. I'm here in this new podcast. And our producer, Alex. I'm eating some cookies. So guys, what is going on? So I guess since this is technically episode one, yeah, we should sure. introduce ourselves, right? I think we should for any new listeners who might and actually find us by searching for <laughs> what we talk about. <laughs> yeah, par- parenting podcast. Yeah, I'm looking for parenting tips or just funny comedy. I just I need a night off. Where do I go? Now they know where to go. And if you're looking for just the tip, same place. Same place. You come right here. We're multi or a new friend. Podcasts. Or a new friend. Or a new friend. We accept new friends now. We yeah. do. We do yes. accept new friends now. <laughs> so um, we. OK, so let me start with me. I'm Scott, the host. Uh, I've got three kids, 24 year old Darren, who you'll hear on this podcast every once in a while, 19 year old Michaela and 12 year old Abby. Uh, I've got two baby mamas. I'm divorced Whoa. once, uh, oh, was engaged dark. twice, uh, very dark. Um, and now I am married. Uh, so we've got a bonus parent slash step parent situation. I'm the biological father. Kids live here. They've got a stepmom, so it uh, it leads to, uh, uh, but also that could have been an email, Scott. It could have been an email. <laughs> I am uh, I'm kind of an idiot as well, so you'll find that mm-hmm. out. You'll hear about that. So let's go to Chris. Chris, what's up? Uh, it's tough because usually introduce me, like I usually tell my stuff, but I'll I'll try. I do have a uh, a daughter and a dog, so I'm a father of two. My daughter is five months old. My phone. Yeah, five. Five months old going on five, actually. She's five not months. that advanced. She's still- yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's still five months. How long are you going to do the month thing? Like some people say like, oh, they're a thousand months old. And I'm like, no, that's so, okay. like 10 years so old. I, I have deferred uh, to just the months. I am not doing the weeks. Okay. So, you know, when she's a year, you know, yeah, then I, won't, I won't say 12 months. I'll say a year and two. I, I'll just tell them their, you know, her birthday. I, I don't believe in the weeks, mostly because I can't do the math that quickly. <laughs> um, so she's five months until literally she's six months. So even when she's five months and, and 99% of the way to six months, she's still five months. Um, yeah, so it's the, it's, it's months for me, mostly because I can't do the math. Also because I hate the week stuff. I'm racist against the people that, uh, do the weeks thing. If that's okay. Like, yeah. Very. Yeah. Yeah. If that was a race of people, I would hate them. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like if you're, a, if you're a weak person, like a, my, 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 my kid is, you know, 36 weeks. I'm right. I hate your people. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Yeah. It's not the skin color or the religion or it's the, it's the, uh, ideology behind, uh, the age of your child. I hate you. But anyway, <laughs> Not uh, so. I'm not one of those. I'm a month guy. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think that's all about me. That's uh, I, I am uh, injury prone to an extent. Um, in the past year, I, I suffered a really bad injury, and then today I suffered another one when my elbow went through the wall when I tripped down the steps. 
uh, which I did tell you guys about. Which is yeah, you did. You did. Yeah. Now we got to look for a new house. But that's that's really all about me. Pretty interesting. Very wow. interesting. But where are I you mean, from? Oh, I'm from New Jersey, the greatest state in all of these United Ooh. States. Alex, mm. cut those gasps out. <laughs> <laughs> I should have mentioned I'm from Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I wanted to bring that up because we we used to have a segment on our other podcast, and now this one, hopefully, we still have one. We'll see. We'll have to see. We'll yeah. have to see. I do have some surprises tonight. <gasps> oh, whoa! Oh. You're pregnant. <laughs> yes, at least I look look it. Yeah, but that's no surprise. Let's move on to uh, the 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 eye candy of the podcast, uh, oh, Sarah. Hey. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry, Nick. Wow. Sorry. I was expecting him to go to you too, I, honestly. I, I, I'm so, so I'm my so bad. To, I'm so used to it. I'm sorry. I didn't intentionally <laughs> steal the spotlight there. So, um, I'm Sarah. Hi, Central Florida here. Um, step parent to two daughters, perfect daughters. Um, sorry to everybody else. They really are. I got to skip the whole month versus week debacle by being a step parent so i don't know what that's like it was um, a lot of counting back then yeah i didn't have to worry about that i yeah. started at four and six and i've moved past so so yeah um we've got a new middle schooler and we've got a fourth grader so so things are changing around the house um we're learning slowly but scott's been telling me about the nightmares to come yeah. Yeah, has the middle school kid become a complete jerk yet? No, absolutely not. Are you saying that because she's in the room? No, she's Blink not twice. here. <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. She she sits in the car at the bus stop because the other kids are trouble, and she's like, "I don't want to deal with them. I just mind my own business, do my own thing." I told you, your house perfect. is perfect. I know right? my husband is perfect. Everything's. I'm. That's... I'm sorry. So, to all you new listeners. <laughs> Get ready to be envious. Yeah. Um, Sarah is actually in witness protection um, mm -hmm. because they have this perfect little family. Uh, her and her Mexican husband, the two, mm -hmm. the two girls. There's a lot of sex, allegedly. Um, so the new podcast was a new start. And now that you gave away my information, <laughs> I'm going to have to retire now. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's little name is Blanche. It was good having you on the episode. Um, thank yeah, you. Everything <laughs> was a beautiful facade till you just let out the one, the one truth there. Yeah, sorry. Um, okay, let's uh, let's move over to our uh, DEI hire, uh, Nick. Oh, diversity, hire? diversity. Oh. Uh, wait, D, wait, diversity. DEI, diversity, DEI? entertainment um, D identification. Yes, I just yeah, gay, D gay. Yes. Gay. Oh, I'm gay. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> you, you play the gay guy. Man. Oh my gosh. You oh, I play, play the, gay the gay guy. guy. I, 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 I overcomplicated things. Now let me introduce you to the diversity. Here's Nick. <laughs> it's a me. I'm the diversity hire. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess you gave it away. Thanks for telling my coming out story. Um, <laughs> I am a resident <laughs> homosexual. Um, I'm a father as well too. So. Spoiler alert, um, two babies, two men can't have a baby. So we adopted, um, wait, so two my, men can't, we've been, tr we've been trying for years and <laughs> something, something wasn't clicking and something wasn't uh, just the tip. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, um, I'm Nick and I have a husband. His name is Sean. He's amazing. And we have a beautiful six year old daughter. Her name is Piper. Um, I live in Ohio. We don't eat our dogs and cats here. I know, I'm sorry. It's not what I heard. That's <laughs> not what I heard either. Yeah. yeah. Um, we do have a lot of McDonald's here with E. coli, so. Yeah, we know we you can, don't eat yeah. any cats. Yeah. Right? No. I don't. I, I definitely don't eat the pussy cats. Um, yeah, that's me. I mean, I also, you'll hear it a lot too on the podcast. I sponsor the podcast because I own my own travel agency called Sandpiper Vacations. And we're a full service travel agency. We book a lot of Disney cruises, all inclusive resorts, um, trips to New Jersey to Chris's house. You know the, the mm -hmm. typical fun vacation spots you want to go to. So it's your um, most popular booking, actually. It, it's it's trending very hot yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's that's me in a nutshell, I guess. What about you? Actually, um, this is me in a nutshell. nutshell. <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys both went different directions with the word national. Yeah, we <laughs> went much different directions. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got our producer, Alex. My name is Alex. I edit the episodes. I have two kids. One is in kindergarten, one is in second grade. And uh, one boy and one girl live in Central Florida like Scott. Go to Disney a lot. Even have a Disney podcast, Disneyverse, with co-host here, Chris. D-I-Z-N-E-Y-V-E-R-S-E. And, you know, we just, just uh, get a lot of fun stuff going on. This show's so funny. I'm glad I get to edit it. So that's all of us. And and listen, if you are stumbling upon us for the first time or you've listened to the old podcast that was called No New Friends Podcast, uh, this is going to be slightly different. But it's OK if you're not a parent because this is our night out. We don't have the kids. We're, we're, we're adults tonight. Right. Speaking of which. So I, I'm been, I've been so excited about this episode, the first episode of A, a New Beginning. It's a new, if you will. Ah, you been, know what else is new? I'm sorry, Scott. You know what else is new? The spelling of Sam Piper Vacations, which somebody just pointed out. The Sam Piper Vacations lo- studio logo actually says Sam Piper Vacations logo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Sam Piper Vacations studio. They spelled wrong yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. It's a talking point. Yeah. It's a talking point. <laughs> Made you look. <laughs> I love that somebody else pointed it out too because I literally texted it to you guys at the same time. (laughs) That is great. Uh, Well, I hope everyone's got their... Remy uh, did the grammar for me. (laughs) I hope everybody uh, has their COVID vaccines shot. I'll tell you what, it's not even close. It's it's not even remotely close to vacation. I'm missing a lot of letters. And (laughs) that's, that's... I guess I'm actually just missing an A. It's just yeah. it's just one letter. I'm but three drinks deep, so it looks like there's work. a lot missing. <laughs> it's yeah, just just the A, just the A. All all the letters look the same to you. Um, but so t- I was so excited about this uh, this episode. Uh, it's our first episode. It's a it's a new beginning. And Abby springs up on me that she's got her fall festival at oh. school tonight. And. Yeah. Like, okay, if she's in a, if she's performing, if she's uh, playing in a sports game, I will be there. I will be there with her school colors on, or I will cosplay in whatever show she's doing, but I'm not going to a fall festival, especially on the podcast night. Mm -mm. You can't. No, no. Sarah, where are you with that kind of stuff? Are you like drop everything to go to these fall festivals? You are, aren't you? Well, I, I do whatever my kids want to do. So yes, I'm a drop everything, do whatever they want to do. But Friday, we have to split the kids up um, because one has trunk or treat and one has a school dance. First school dance ever. Oh. So we have to have mom take one kid and I take the other because Lewis will be at work so that we can coordinate everybody getting to their school events. So, yes, I understand. Now, do you volunteer like you're, you're one of those parents to who volunteer for all of these events, right? Oh no, no, oh, no. Okay, no. Mm. I don't so you're volunteer not the, for like anything. The class parent. That wouldn't. No. Is it class pet? No. Parent. That, uh, same thing. That's definitely me. No, yeah, that, no, I don't get involved in all that. Why not? Because other parents do. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to call because, parents. Because we both do it. Like we, we both mom and I will do like field trips and stuff when the girls want us to go. We kind of okay. alternate between mm-hmm. kids. But like as far as going, like my mom was a band mom, hardcore with my brother and so she was at every single event. She ran the snack stand. She was early retirement. So she was at the school every day helping out. Oh. Like me, I go to work. I come home. I want to do stuff. I want to chill. Life is different when know. you work in the hospitality industry because it's like we're so dog tired at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Like I literally, my job is to be nice to people. I don't want to go and volunteer to be nice to people for even longer. Right. Not that I'm not a nice person. Let me start with that. It's just, it's exhausting being in the industry. So I don't want to talk anymore. 
I get it. Yeah. You know, Sarah, I've never, I've never uh, chaperoned a field trip for all, <gasps> any, any one of my kids. My first. Well, not allowed in Stop in it, Nick. <laughs> We're starting my, anew. <laughs> my first field trip chaperone experience was taking last year um, third grade trip to SeaWorld. Oh. Like it wasn't, you know, let's, you know, take just this class to go do something. To a play or something, you know, yeah. with with 50 kids. No, this was the entirety of third grade Ugh. split up between parents. Oof. And yeah. And thankfully we had somebody volunteer to take additional kids because there were two of us. So mm. we had a whole group. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the main reason why I don't chaperone because I can't smoke and I can't drink uh, at these events. So, oh, it, yeah. Yeah, it causes some problems for me because I'm not going to like I can't step away and say, hey, I'm going to go smoke a cig real quick because I'm the chaperone. And like I will I will never do a theme park chaperone thing because I can't go to the theme parks and not drink. Could you imagine me taking Abby, whose class trip this year is to Epcot. Uh, um, Have you not learned by now how to like sneak alcohol? Okay. <laughs> There's functions? a story that my dad tells. He was chaperoning a, a field trip. It was like an eighth grade field trip at my mom's school in Miami. This is before I was born. And they had a trip to Disney. And he got so drunk that he passed out on a bench in front of Pirates of the Caribbean. Wait, he Ooh. was chaperoning your mom's school? The, my mom's school that she taught at. Wow, I was going to say, I know where you get it from. <laughs> <laughs> so much for starting anew. Need a lot of context there. Yeah, I yeah. did actually delete a cliff note already. To <laughs> off the <laughs> Nick, are you a drop? You're a drop everything to go to the fall festival. Oh, 100. 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. I mean, anything fall related, I would go to even if my okay, kid was about winter? <laughs> what about winter fest? Because we're. Um, if it's indoors, what what is Fall Festival? I, am, yeah. I didn't go. I don't know. know. I, cowards, you can't say Happy Halloween anymore. Well, it, it wasn't. It wasn't happy just Fall Festival. It, it wasn't. It wasn't just <laughs> celebrating Halloween. It was celebrating everything fall. You know, uh, pumpkin spice tacos, pumpkin spice coffee. You know, the, all yeah, the I'm pumpkin sorry. spice. I'm. A, I will never not say Happy Halloween. <laughs> I. It, it, it was a celebration of all things fall. Okay. It's disgusting. <laughs> and then um, a little insensitive as well. I guess my, my point <laughs> is, Nick, this is not an, an event that Piper is uh, a, an, an athlete of or a performing or anything. This is just yeah. a, hey, my school's doing this festival. Are you there? I mean, I've, I'm volunteering next week for some i don't even know what i volunteered for i just volunteered <laughs> i think it's like some relay thing or something at school they're just like we need parents and i'm like of course i'm gonna be there so i signed up for something don't know i think they asked for face painters too and i cannot face paint no, nick is the parent i'm thankful shows up there you go <laughs> so uh, nick and sarah balance each other out then mm-hmm yeah, I mean, I, I'm living in this era right now. I, I need to get out of the house. So anything to get me out of the house because I work from home. So um, even though I, it's exhausting, I, I went to Piper's kindergarten Christmas holiday party last year and I volunteered for two hours. I napped for four after because I was so exhausted. So it, it's an excuse, I, I guess. I don't have know. patience for all those kids during these field trips. It was yeah. a lot. Especially when they have all that sugar in them and it's yeah, I, I, I sea world. Mm -mm. No, nope. I, that'd be hard enough. You for should me. have seen this Disney. Yes. The list of rules that came in an email. Oh yeah. I was scared to take my phone oh. out. I, I was scared that I packed my vape. Like <laughs> I knew that I was going to make it through sea world security, but was I going to make it through school security? Like Sarah had to leave her dime bag in the car. <laughs> no, no, I, I, um, uh, God carpooled. That's the word I was looking for. So that stayed at the house. <laughs> Gotta be careful. 
now, Chris, I already know what type of parent you're going to be because yeah, it, yeah. it has already started. I mean, oh, yeah. you have brought uh, Eleven to the pumpkin patch. Yeah. The Who? Eleven, his daughter. Oh, yeah. My daughter is, uh, my wife doesn't. She's Eleven no, no, no. She Our in nickname. spirit. Her name is, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just like my daughter is in spirit 93. Yeah, uh, mine is in spirit a um a bald uh baby with superpowers that her nose bleeds when she shakes her hand. I think we got used to thirteen. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, because Scott was being a dick, but this is mm-hmm. we're turning over a new leaf, I guess, which was very nice of you, Scott. Speaking of parenting. Yeah. <laughs> He's leaning into the new brand way too heavy. <laughs> he can only lean into things heavy though. So he paid for this. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> look at him being a good dad there. We don't know what he was saying. Giving her a hug. Oh, he's, he's blowing a like, kiss. Hug me. Hug he's me. Like, go, hug go me. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Here's five dollars. Give me a hug. Dad, you haven't asked me for a hug since I was a baby. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. <laughs> All I hear is your name. <laughs> Darren's like. <laughs> so. Darren's like, I never got a hug. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, why I had to step away is is uh, I got I got a little message from her teacher like, hey, um, she's working real hard, but she won't shut up in class. Right uh, now? It, earlier today. Uh, but anyway, like I, I let her go to this fall festival. So she's like, hey, thank you for letting me go. And I know we have to talk about the note home from the teacher. And I'm really sorry, but thank you for letting me go anyway. And I'm like, can we talk about this another time? I'm in the middle of a podcast right now. Like, we, what are we doing here? And, and but like, I can't just say, hey, go away. Like, your concerns are not my important to me right now because then she's going to be in therapy for the next twenty years. So now I have to stop what I'm doing and listen to the same thing repeated over and over again. You know, you could have just said, you know, I didn't go to the fall festival because of what you're doing in school. Once you start doing better in school, I will start coming to these things. That's a great idea. Yeah, I'm writing that down for the future use for myself as well. <laughs> I say, look at the parenting hat from the five-month-old father. <laughs> we're, we're all over here taking notes right now. So I, I apologize, Chris. Did you answer the question? You, you're going to be at all the events. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, You yeah, and Emily yeah, both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all definitely all the events. He's gonna be the transportation. Yeah, that is true. I will charge my daughter for the transportation. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be at all the events for sure. I love that kind of because I'm a kid at heart. Like I, I uh, you know, I got a bunch of toys behind me. I, I am mo- recent. Go ahead, you say, and then I'll then I'll listen. Say I was long. a kid at heart too. I was like, oh my god, I can't yeah. wait to have kids. I'm gonna chaperone all the field trips and all that. Um, yeah. I, I lied earlier for comedy, but I did chaperone one field trip of Darren's and I was like never again yeah I'm out yeah like uh, my field my chaperoning days are done I um my my mom has been bringing over all my old toys we've talked about this in the past I am a hoarder mm-hmm. and I've learned I'm a hoarder because of my mom because I've realized all the stuff that she's kept of mine my wife has a lot of years. toys too but that's just for other reasons did you say your mom has a lot of toys as well I said my wife oh I don't know if my mom has it. Okay, continue. I just referenced my... Dude, that was a weird segue. Anyway. <laughs> wow. So I talk... Uh, okay. Okay. So anyway, my mom was bringing all my uh, childhood toys over and to like go through and give away, I'm giving them all to my five-month-old daughter. Like I'm just going <laughs> one by one and just like I have my floor right now and my den is full of Beanie Babies. <laughs> and You're you know not the, selling those? No. You know what um, the best part about it is? That's the thing is they're not worth shit. The best part about mm-hmm. it is like I'm pulling some of these Beanie Babies out and they have like plastic around the tags, like yeah, the cases course. that go over around the <laughs> yes. tags and stuff. And, and, and you know what's crazy is she's playing with these things and she's five months old. So she's she's trying to like rip the tags off and that's like uh, my blood is running I'm cold. losing my mind like, right so now. So like what I do is as soon as I see her start playing with the tag I just like shift the, I shift it and I give her like the back leg so she can't so she can't tug off the tag. Uh, why aren't you selling those things? <laughs> yeah so um I, the investment did not pay off Scott they are not worth anything all mm. of the all of the money I we invested them, I sold them for a dollar out see, of then sale, that's that's, so a, that's a really good back. price that's a huge return on investment for Beanie Baby Scott <laughs> is one of those people that were like uh, Scott was in the Beanie Baby pyramid scheme uh, where <laughs> Scott, was, Scott whatever you do whatever you're looking up right now you have to actually go he, to the sold prices, <laughs> not the listed yeah. prices. As as yes. a reseller, and Chris understands this too, 
just because it's listed for for forty five dollars doesn't mean it's sold for forty five dollars. Beanie Babies Correct. aren't worth that much, but I do resonate, Chris, because I I think I've told you guys this story before, but we took the girls to like a comic book store that we have in town that has collectibles. And she loves Chewbacca and she got a vintage Chewbacca toy. And I mean, like 80s. And I, I, it was all beautiful packaging. And we get in the car and it's, I hear it ripping open in the back. And I'm like, oh my God. And she just hits me with the, well, did you really think it was going to stay in the box? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you know, she just texted me too. It's like, she knows she can, she can hear me. Yeah. So, but she's, she's learned now how I feel about these things. Yeah. It's, um, I just sent in the discord, uh, which is our public discord, which you can join for absolutely free to chat with us and our members. I just sent a picture of, uh, my daughter playing with, my old toys which a couple of those are from the barman bailey circus which has like been canceled or don't Mm -hmm. have animals in anymore just a bunch of clowns and people on motorcycle spheres but i asked you guys so listen i'm i all of my old toys i got a bunch of nerf guns uh i'll give her those when she's like six months five months a little young for that but it's the american way so i do have to wait you know i do have to introduce her to those so at six months i'll give her the nerf guns uh play-doh probably around eight months um I still want my childhood Play-Doh. It's weird. It's weird. And it's like, I didn't save this. My mom did, right? So now I know. I, she started bringing all this stuff over, right? And there's a lot of stuff that she saved. And we're going through as Emily and I. And it's like, wow. Like, I, Emily's like, I understand where you develop this hoarding mentality from. Um, I had a moldy corsage from Junior Prom uh, in one of my bags. That was, you know, from when Emily and I went to Junior Prom. And Emily made me throw it out, which I was very upset about. And yeah, Aww. just, uh, you know, I have tickets from uh, Disney from the early 2000s, which was pretty cool to see. So it's cool because, you know, half the stuff I'm opening is really cool. And like then receipts from from like McDonald's from 2003, not as cool, uh, not nearly as cool. OK, but I won't throw them away. Yeah, guys, real quick. I, I'm on the sure. trendspotter.com. OK, I don't know what that is, but well, I I'm going to tell yeah. you not a valid it, source. It is a very valid source because there's pictures and everything and they are listing <laughs> the value. Yeah. Of Beanie Babies. OK, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, this is not all the Beanie Babies. These are the ones of significant value. Number one okay. bear, twelve hundred dollars. OK, which bear is that? Number one bear. No, like which bear is the num- like at number what on. OK, so the number one No, bear it's called number is- one bear. Right. It's so number one. Number that's one, like the original. Like the ranking is number, is number one. one. No, no. So the ranking is not number one. So it's, it's not the, the first most valuable. one ever made. It's just called number one bear. Right. What bear is it? <laughs> it's called number one. I understand what you're trying to tell me, Scott. <laughs> number one is worth twelve hundred dollars. But for a viewer, for listeners and viewers on YouTube, what is the name of the actual bear? <laughs> number one yes bear. i get that the number one bear in my heart is nick the number one bear for beanie babies Aww. is number one bear right, let's, let's go to number two what's number two <laughs> what's on yeah. so i it, it's actually uh, <laughs> That was like number 39. I, I'm, I'm looking to see exactly what number he is. Oh, but, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the most expensive one, uh, Large Wallace and his squad, $600,000. Uh, yeah, that's not that's okay. not real. I'm looking yeah. through here right now. and I, Large I don't have, Wallace and his squad sounds yeah. like a, a civil rights movement. It, pro- it probably was. So, Oh, it was actually. That's I why had, it's so valuable. Iggy the Iguana. Okay. I had Iggy the Iguana and Iggy the Iguana. The value of Iggy the Iguana right now is $15,000. No, it's not, Scott. Punchers the Lobster, which I had two of, $10,000. Yeah, I'm guaranteed didn't have two $10,000 Beanie Babies. This is probably blessed by the Pope. (laughs) 
I had the elephant too. Seven thousand. It's probably just one. It's one crazy person that just. Beanie the iguana. Beanie like, baby from nineteen ninety three on eBay. Listing price. One dollar and ninety nine cents. <laughs> well, the, I was then gonna the, say I think I have one in the closet right now. The tag may be damaged from that one. She will sell it to you. For <laughs> Gobbles the turkey, sixty seven hundred dollars. I had that one. Snort the listing, Red Bull. People are listing. This is like this thought, is you on eBay. People are listing this Iggy the iguana for five hundred dollars for five thousand dollars. This person put it in a plastic case. And <laughs> I have to put a picture of this on the Discord. This is ridiculous. To make it look more fancy, they put it in a plastic case to make it look like it's never been touched. And then the next picture, it's out of the case. <laughs> no. Peace the bear, five thousand. Nana Scott's the monkey. gonna start to get in. Scott, Scott's gonna start to get into. I thought the Princess Diana bear was like six hundred thousand. Wait, no, I don't know. No, the Princess Diana bear is not. You're just making up I, numbers now from a random I'm website. Looking, it's not a random website. It's the trendspotter.net <laughs> slash beanie babies. <laughs> I don't trust on that. <laughs> anyway, um, so back to Chris. Yeah, well, I don't have any of those beanie babies, dick. <laughs> I just, I, I just still can't believe that you're, you're, you're letting her play with them, like because you could sell them for something. No, you can't actually. You, you literally can't. You, there's, there is. Put one of them on whatnot. First edition Princess Diana Beanie Baby. I'm trying to see a sold for eight thousand dollars. Yeah. So the, 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 I do not have that. I do have an Allen Iverson one, which I think is from a flea market. So I don't think it's real. But um, yeah, so there are, there are Beanie Babies that are worth a lot of money. None of mine are. Mine are all the ones that are, um, uh, they're pretty crusty. I'm not going to lie. Like some of them are pretty crusty. Squealer, what, Squealer why? Beanie Baby. That's Nick called, that was my nickname with Nick. He's Squealer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, coming back up to the fact that I'm your number one bear. I, 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 I you that. know, I was really proud to say that. I was really proud to say that. Wow. I thought I meant something to you. Um, Trumpy Bear is not on here, unfortunately. Uh, Trumpy Bear is not on the <laughs> most valuable uh, stuffed animals. Trumpy Bear, Trumpy Bear. All right. Uh, which, uh, yeah. So nothing that I have is valuable. I look up everything before I hand it to her. But yet yeah, still, but it's still taboo to take that tag off. So it's like she reaches for the tag, and I'm like, time out. Like literal, I put her in the corner. <laughs> uh are you guys ready for another call from sophisticated gentleman wow uh, yeah yeah yes. super exciting sophisticated yeah. gentleman called i haven't listened to it but he sent it to me and said here you go so here we go the sophisticated gentleman and now it's time for the more you know and here's your host Giles Garman. I'm Giles Garman, and I'm from an alternate universe stuck in the 1940s, and I'm going to be popping in here and there to give you some fun facts about different Disney topics. This week on Into the Disneyverse, you can look forward to hearing about the film Encanto. Interestingly enough, Dos Orguitas in the film is the first song Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote from start to finish in Spanish only. However, the crew did not teach somebody to talk to animals, despite what's seen in the film. I'm sure Scott's glad he can't talk to animals. That way he can't hear them say, no, no. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to check out Into the Disneyverse, that is D-I-Z-N-E-Y-V-E-R-S-E -E -E on all podcasting platforms. And that's all for me, Giles Garman. Thank you so much, Giles Garman. Uh, now, Chris, to our new listeners, you want to explain who Giles Garman is? I have no idea who the fuck that was. <laughs> Giles, 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 Giles Garman is a character that comes on uh, the other podcast that I'm on called Into the Disneyverse. And he he's, uh, has the transatlantic accent. He comes on. It sounds... Uh, Scottish at times, but he comes on and, and, and he actually recently mo uh, introduced his brother, Gerald Garman as well. So I wonder if Gerald uh, Garman huh. will be making an appearance. on Maybe. Show. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So if you want to check that me out uh, on a Disney podcast, history of Disney stuff, check out into the Disney verse where you can also check out Giles and Gerald Garman. Very cool. Very cool. Sarah, you're, you're a movie buff, right? Like you love um, old movies? 
Yes, I do. Yes. Have you ever run into a situation where you remember a scene from a movie, but you cannot remember what movie it came from? Yeah. I mean, I can't think of an example, but I'm sure it's happened. Nick, has that ever happened to you? Where like you could picture a scene, but you just cannot remember what what movie it's from. I mean, usually the scenes that I'm picturing are from porno. So, <laughs> it was kind of, is that is that what you're talking uh, about? <laughs> not is that not wrong? particularly. Uh, um, okay. okay, so decades ago, I was probably four or five years old. I remember seeing this movie where a long, long time, time ago, ago where you. this man gets like sucked down the shower, not the drain, but like gets quick down quicksand down the shower. Okay. Nick, you made one of those videos a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. So for decades, it bothered me because I couldn't remember what movie it was. I, I didn't know what movie it was. I was a kid. But it also traumatized me because I would not go uh, into showers, uh, like public showers, locker room showers, because I do remember it was in a locker room. I could not go. Oh God, into- that sounds like a dream to me. <laughs> <laughs> I could not go into uh, locker room showers at all because I thought I was going to uh, like I was going to get quicksand down the drain for uh, now for, down the drain suck down the drain yeah sucked, so, yeah yeah, yeah. just, just suck down it. the drain yeah I didn't want to get sucked off like down the drain so for decades this has bothered me what movie is this but I was too embarrassed to ask the questions because I thought well, maybe I was dreaming maybe it didn't really happen so. I've been on this quest because now I don't give a shit about what people think of me. So I called my dad. I called um, the psychic that we had on Jerry McDaniel. Uh, that was, gosh, 200 episodes ago when we had him on. Yeah, which is not satire. This actually happened. No, it did actually happen. <laughs> it yeah. actually happened. This is 100% true. <laughs> I definitely called him, not because of his psychic abilities, but because he's a movie buff. And I was like, of all people, he would know. That small party is like, maybe he can but also maybe this is. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> So, like, I, I remember a, 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 a team, and I thought it was a soccer movie. So we we go down the Google train of 1980s soccer movies. Man gets sucked down a drain, and we're not we're not we're not getting anywhere, Sarah. It's the the suggestions that are coming my way are, are just ridiculous. So. Spoiler alert, because I don't want to prolong this incredibly long story that lasted over three days. I did finally find the movie. It's called Victory, starring Sylvester Stallone, Michael Caine, uh, and a bunch of Germans. It's it's about it's <laughs> about a Nazi prison camp. What the? F- what, are you serious? I swear to God, it is a German prison camp, and this German officer challenges Michael Caine to a soccer match. Uh, the prisoners versus the German national team. Sarah's got something to say. She's got reactions. No, I'm just, I, I've i seen some sad Holocaust movies, but not that one. Never heard of that one. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't a sad Holocaust movie. It was a, a soccer movie, a soccer movie um, in which there Scott's is, like, a, I don't think they're very sad, actually. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? I missed something. It was no, they were they were. It was it was in a, a German prison camp, like a, a, a okay, sorry, oh, a prisoner okay. of war camp. It was a POW camp. Yeah, Scott, you see, like how, it was you adver- see how I could get confused. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, like it was advertised as a drama. I thought it was a comedy. <laughs> Stop it! See, I don't find them sad at all. So this scene happens. <laughs> And the shower, a hole opens up in the shower. And I'm like, okay, here it is. Someone's going to get sucked in. No, I completely uh, misinterpreted in my brain as a a four-year-old full of hair, Scott. No, they were breaking out the soccer team. So someone came up the hole, not down the hole. Nick, please explain what he's talking about. (laughs) So what what happens is... <laughs> oh, when I feel two like guys between... love each other very much, or meet on grinder. Oh, when two guys love each other. Yeah, <laughs> me and don't don't even know each other's names. <laughs> so does that does that explain why you still don't shower? Maybe you look like you could use one or <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I did go to the, the I did go to uh, Hollywood Studios today. I was live on the TikTok. Uh, it's been a while. It has been so. 
Uh, let me back up real quick. Please. Um, I, I have something I really, I really want to say. I, I will you. back up to you, Chris. Um, or you That's can fine. back up to me, whatever you works. I, I'm, I'm very upset about oh. something that I do need to bring okay. up with you guys. Um, but first, <laughs> move, move, <clears throat> move, move. I'm gay. It's on the mic, so it's time to take notice. And if you don't like it, that's homophobic. Stay the hell out of this way. Move, I'm gay. Why am I turned on? I don't know. It's the grunting. It's like I, the crying. The grunting. Or the yeah, grunting. I think I'm make sure a little of bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I cry at the end of sex sometimes. So <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just very happy. My I wife know. cries, but um, not so for good reasons. You just brought up you just brought up that you were at Disney today, correct? Yes. So I want to bring up something. Um, I was at Disney last week, actually. I know. Did you have fun? Well, I would have if my friends would have met up with me. But I messaged okay. them on I messaged my friends on Saturday. So here's here's what happened. So who's your friends, Nick? Can you be, be um specific? my friends would be you guys here. And then uh, I could make it. I was out of town. You are you're out of town, so you have an excuse. Emily has an excuse. Yeah. We have a group chat with all of you guys on this podcast and our spouses that, yeah. um except for your spouse we have your son so it's kind of yeah, yeah. um what your son was amazing we would have no we wouldn't have a podcast if, oh, yeah if what your son, your son was absolutely amazing so i'm i'll digress on that part but i did send a message that hey sean and i are gonna be in town we're going to disney um i messaged on new saturday last week october 12th at 10 08 p.m to be exact I'm like, hey, Floridians. Prime time. Yeah, I'm going to be here. Here's my plans for the week. Would love to meet up with you guys. No response. Sunday, I sent a picture of Piper swimming in the pool, but it was actually a picture of a really hot guy there. Um, But Piper (laughs) Piper just happened to be in the picture. And I get response from that, and it's just, haha. That's all. Nothing else. The next message I get is a picture from Scott um, of our friend Eddie Deason. That's all the messages I get. Nobody cared that I was in Florida. I mean, I'm there like every month, but they didn't care, Chris. And I'm very upset. I cared. I, 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 I know you would have been I, there. Sarah I was probably down. busy hurting her hand yeah, or something busy. on a spindle. Yeah. Hanging out with Lewis. Uh, I was hurt. I, 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 I was so hurt by it that that's why I didn't respond. <laughs> I know you guys are looking at your messages now and you're like, oh, we didn't respond to him, did we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think yeah, Scott and I are both scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Sean kept... We kept sending pictures. We we're living our best life. Even Emily responded that Piper's living her best life. We were dressed up as Mario and Luigi, Princess Peach. It was great. At um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Didn't get any oh messages. Oh my God, I did respond. Didn't, didn't, I responded okay, didn't to get the any Eddie Deason thing. But I did message Darren and he um, helped me out. So thank you, Darren. Yeah, okay. what happened? Um, so... Here's the no, deal. We suck, Scott. No, don't that's even try. that's basically what yeah. it is. I wanted to give you. you uh, I, uh, <laughs> I wanted to please don't give put yourself you up on my level. A, a sense of what it's like to be me and not get responses back on text messages. Mm. Um, no, in, in all in, in all reality, comedy aside, I was asleep when you sent the text message, and um then <laughs> for the next for thing i see was <laughs> it disappeared <laughs> <for its moment. laughs> it didn't disappear but then i get the pool picture and then a couple of and i just missed it i i'm um or i saw it and i forgot to respond i saw it and i forgot to respond but this guy was like it's election season i can't bring this this gay guy around <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't be seen in front of my friends <laughs> I, I mean, no, I'm, um, meanwhile, I'm, I'm hanging really out sorry. with John Stamos, hanging out with the Muppets. And, <laughs> I know, yeah, I'm really sorry. Living my best I'm life. Really sorry. What were you doing? Really sorry. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, Wednesday was the day that like you definitely couldn't hang out, and I got way, way too hammered uh, at Hollywood Studio, or I'm sorry, at Epcot, and then kept drinking through the end of the podcast. It was so bad. I like, felt miserable on Thursday and I had to put up my Halloween decorations in the heat. You do that? I thought you had some. I know. Like, I thought you had people to do, to do that. No, no. They just do the lights. I do mm-hmm. the decorations. Nick, I'm sorry. Well, I'm a terrible friend. You are. Thank you for admitting that. Um, Alex, please keep that and clip that. For <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the episode title. Put it on the sound. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> keep that for future reference. I mean, in all reality, I literally had no time. I was down there for my Disney earmarks. And I knew conference. you had no time. I, I barely had time to breathe. 
And right. I, I didn't want I didn't want you to die because you took time to spend with me instead of breathing. I mean, it would have been you worth it. Time so you're welcome. When you visit New Jersey. To <laughs> I'm usually a very um, early challenge when I'm in New Jersey. Um, I'd say proficient, not too oh, Thank you. <laughs> Don't make me blush too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean, in all reality, I was down there for my very first Disney Earmarked conference that I wanted to just briefly talk about. Um, we talked about it before, too. So um, I own a travel agency. We got what is called Earmarked with Disney. It's basically their... Um, platform sandpapervactions. Yeah. <laughs> Sandpaper Vactions. Uh, I did change it. Thank it you. is now thank vacations you. on the stream. Yes. Um, so this um, conference was basically to reward those in the travel industry that um, meet and exceed Disney's expectations. Um, so we had certain sales goals that we had to um, hit. Um, there was only 400 people, agencies there represented across the entire country. So it was a really awesome opportunity for me to get out there, network with Disney executives, um, we literally had the president of Walt Disney World there. Have you met him? Joe Biden? No, the other one. The Jeff yeah. the, Jeff Vale? The one that's awake. Um, there was like a Jeff, a Ken, <laughs> um, yeah, Barbie. Jeff. Um, all of them were there. <laughs> um, so we got to meet them. It was really cool. We had guest pre um, presenters. We had the guy that created FUBU. Chris. Oh, you know this. Damon uh, John. Uh, Damon, D J Damon John. Hey. Wow. Yes, thank you, Chris, Thanks. for <laughs> saying that first. <laughs> he was in Shark Tank. Yes. So Damon John was our very first guest presenter. Talked about Shark Tank and how that can work, incorporate to our business strategies. And uh, it was a really awesome experience. And then the next day, um, I actually got a message from you guys. It was a picture of our friend Remy with John Stamos. And I didn't really put two and together, two and two together right away. But we were told that we're going to have a surprise guest speaker. Uh, oh, did I ruin the surprise? No, somebody else. We we're talking before he came out and somebody else was talking to like, do you know who the guest he, speaker he's is? He's gay? He's not. Oh. I wish. Um, but yeah, we. Oh, I, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine and they're like, I think I heard John Stamos might be the presenter. And I was like, that makes perfect sense of why he's staying at Polynesian. Um, so, yeah, we had a surprise performance from John Stamos. He, well, not performance, but he came out and chatted and um, told his life story. He cried talking about Bob Saget and mm. uh, just talking what about um, <laughs> what he um, became a father of three. Um, With Bob Saget? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, his name does. Never mind. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it went too far. Uh, and then we also had the host our host at our scott three day long conference was this lady that she used to be an actress at hollywood studios in the like tower of terror area oh can we guess i don't know her name kimmy gibbler bingo <laughs> <laughs> it might have been so she short hair she had a wig on for our performance oh. she she created this okay. character but she's like so i have a co-host with me and it's the muppets I oh, nerded out. God. I cried. So it was a really awesome to see Miss Piggy and Kermit up there on stage. All the other Muppets came out as well, too. It was a really awesome They're opportunity. Gay? Not everybody yeah, is gay really good that story. I hang out with. Well, you keep talking about them coming out. I'm like, well. I have straight friends, too, Scott. <laughs> Apparently not you. <laughs> you're, too, you're too good to hang out with me. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm very happy that I was able to attend this conference and very lucky to to be there and it was an amazing opportunity so thank you for letting awesome. me on my my nick talk <laughs> your nick talk i mean i can get on uh, if you and want congratulations that that's such a big deal thank you that sounded very genuine we should just put that on a soundboard too congratulations i like a very <laughs> yeah. big deal whenever we talk <laughs> congratulations something. scott's saying that while you can hear him typing in the background well because i mistyped down states uh in chat and if you want to chat with us check us out on the youtube uh we record this thing live on the youtube it's a live performance so you can see it as it's happening uh raw We're performing and whoa whoa who's raw and uncut <sighs> chris we're jewish friendly we cut jewish oh. no jewish families get cut <laughs> i don't know we'll have to find one now too yeah yeah all right you guys ready for our next little segment yeah what is it what is it what is it play it tell me whether flipping a fan 
van boat or crash in a truck These states are filled with people who suck So it's time for us to play New Jersey Man versus Florida Man Every week, Game Master Ryan brings us two news stories. One is from Jersey, one is from Florida. It is up to us to, ter- to decide which one is which. Take it away, Ryan. Hello, this is Ryan, your in the field news reporter for the Parents Night Out news team, and I am reporting to you live from a clinic in New Jersey where a man working as a chaperone is suing for emotional damage after he was forced to watch an albino Grinch hobbit have a prostate exam performed on him. The worker described the man as being the same body shape as Danny DeVito portraying the penguin. In the field with me today is Sarah. Sarah, what do you think of that news story? She's more the quiet type. Anyways, the man who caused emotional damage to the chaperone was diagnosed with a prostate infection. The man was quoted with saying that Nick needs to clean that thing better before he puts it in. Since being diagnosed with the infection, the man has been taking a lot of baths. People say he's been doing more soaking than a 16-year-old that belongs to the Church of Latter-day Saints. Sarah, do you have anything to add to this story? Yeah, I didn't think so. So Sarah's been losing a lot of weight lately. People are reporting they haven't seen a Jew this skinny since 1946. Sarah's laughing, you just can't hear her. We've also been having reports from Ohio saying the first gay man ever has been asking for pickup lines. We interviewed a bald Florida man who said that his favorite pickup lines are, hey, do you want some candy? And can you help me find my lost puppy? The same man we interviewed was known to have a eye for talent. He's trying to follow in the footsteps of his idol, Dan Schneider. But in the meantime, the man is working on a podcast, which he described as a snapshot of his life. Even Bon Jovi was quoted in saying, you should probably jump after hearing the podcast. So now I kick it over to Sarah, who will give us your Florida man and New Jersey man stories. Okay, fine, I'll do it. For our first story, a man ripped down pride flags and tossed them in the trash. And for our second story, a man almost died while getting a lap dance from his housekeeper. Okay. Wow. Both of those sound like Scott. Okay. All right, so we have we have pride flags in the trash and uh, yeah, a near death lap dance. Nick, what do you think? I mean, I feel like Florida for the pride flag. Okay, Sarah. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but I agree, Florida with the pride flags. Scott's fist bumping for anybody who's not <laughs> see it, watching us live. He's like so excited about it. Chris, I think he's throwing us off. I think. Listen, if you go really south, South Jersey, people wear like cowboy boots and stuff. They live in the forest. Uh, I think that um, I think that happened in New Jersey. The how the the guy who had what do you have a heart attack? Uh, yeah, heart attack. Yeah, yeah we don't have people. We, yeah, we don't have people like taking care of our houses up here. We do that all by ourselves. That was down in Florida. That was uh, Scott's next door neighbor. So lock that in for Florida. <laughs> okay, um, I'm I'm going the near death lap dance, New Jersey. A lot of strippers, a lot of strip club is in, in New York, New Jersey. So That's definitely true. can happen. And then throwing pride flags in um, in the trash can. That's C-Money from the Studio 21 Baseball Podcast. All right, let's find out the answers. So our first story is from New Jersey, where in Madison, a man is arrested on criminal mischief charges after he allegedly yes. vandalized six LGBTQ plus pride flags from the downtown area. This man really should be more of an ally like this man we interviewed. Are you a doctor? Because you can fuck me in my ass. So that means our second story is from Florida, where a 70-year-old man almost died of a heart attack when his topless maid gave him a lap dance. The topless woman was able to perform CPR on the man, which saved his life. And yes, Scott, we at the news team did do our research and found she is a white woman and can work in gated communities. She also does yard work. (laughs) And for our final story of the night, giant white blobs are washing up on the shore of Newfoundland. Nobody's quite sure what these things are. A giant white blob was also reported on the beach of Jamaica back in March and in Mexico about two years ago. That's all the news for today. Now back to you guys. Thank you so much, uh, Game Master Ryan. I like the new spin. I like the new spin. Uh, yeah, me too. Well, me too. I, I feel like he practiced LGBTQ. Uh, he's he, not good at spelling. Yeah. yeah. It took him a bit to yeah. do that one. Yeah. He actually had to speed that part up. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Even reading from the cue card. We should have known that that was Jersey because 
that would have been celebrated here in Florida. Not uh, they wouldn't have arrested. That's true. Yeah, that's that's true. Right. Like, how did right. we not get that? Did he say he was arrested at the beginning? Though metal. he just said he. I don't know. It wouldn't but, be newsworthy. I think yeah. at the very least, it wouldn't be newsworthy. Yeah, it really wouldn't. It would be like, okay, yeah. that's a Tuesday. Right. All right, Chris, you got any cliff notes? I do. It's been quite the show. A lot of stuff's happened, so nothing can stop this little boy from recapping the day. The Chris is Cliff's Notes way. So anyway, at the beginning of the episode, I realized that I spelled vacations wrong in Sandpiper Vacations logo. I will admit, when it came to Sandpiper Vacations, I did forget the A. It said factions. But uh, Nick can attest to this. When it comes to Sandpiper Vacations, I never forget the D. <laughs> never. We talked about SeaWorld this week on the podcast, which actually broke a record. SeaWorld has now been referenced on this podcast two times this month. This week, uh, because of a field trip, a couple weeks ago, Scott taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Scott said he was afraid to take public showers in men's locker rooms because he didn't want to be sucked down the drain. Pretty homophobic, Scott. Pretty homophobic. <laughs> Scott said the movie where the man gets sucked down the drain is called Victory. Nick calls it the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> High five, bro. And lastly, Nick said he volunteered for something next week because they needed parents to face paint. Nick, I texted you asking for a daddy to give me a facial. <laughs> <laughs> And those are my cliff notes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. So anybody have anything exciting going on with their kids this week? Yeah, actually, um, I invited my whole family to a trunk or treat on Friday because uh, I was going to dress up uh, my daughter and we were going to go there because I, I told there's going to be food trucks and music. And so I just assumed there was going to be like all this stuff there. Uh, like food trucks and there's not it's just trunk or treat so oh. now i have to figure out what to do with all my family coming over because i can't okay. even go trunk or treating with her she's five months old like it would look so dumb going from van to van getting candy for what well, who's gonna i'm gonna be eating uh it. no i we we talked about this about a year ago about this time that. i can't do Get it, it. No, you absolutely can't. I can't and do it. I feel weird. Maybe next year. No, because you're going to have to fight with her for the candy next no year. Teeth. This, she has no teeth. She doesn't have one year, single tooth. It doesn't matter, Chris. This year, the trick-or-treating is all about you. People will go nuts getting so excited about seeing this little baby in their little costume. The, the little baby's getting it loaded with candy for you. Take right. advantage I've of it. Changed my mind. Trust me. Now I do. Uh, you will appreciate the costume we're doing. We did switch up because the Kermit costume was forty dollars and then twenty five dollars shipping, and I pay for Prime, bitch. I'm not paying twenty five dollars yeah. for shipping. So we did change costumes, and uh, Ellie is now going as a baby a dinosaur, and baby Emily dinosaur, and I okay. are going to be um, Ellie Sadler. Oh, Ellie Sadler. Yeah, and, Ellie Sadler. And um, Doctor Grant. Doctor Grant. Yeah, I love that so from Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park theme. and yeah. that's great because that's what your wedding song was. It was that was what I walked down the aisle. Yeah. It's full circle, full circle. I could full die circle. at the day after, and my life would be complete. I love it. I love yeah. it. Uh, trust me, we'll talk offline. Take your daughter trick or treating. Yeah, I'm uh, strongly considering it now. Sarah, you got uh, trick or treating plans? Oh no, no we can talk we... about that next week. Never mind. That's sorry. We can <laughs> okay, talk about never that next mind. Week. <laughs> Yeah, because Sarah next week is talk. the day before Halloween. Well, if you want to say so, I mean, you can. Hey, Sarah, you got any trick or treating plans? No, actually, the girls are going to be with their mother, so that's it. All right, I'll write that down. <laughs> we'll skip that next week. <laughs> um, Nick, any fall festivals this weekend? Why is it not trick or treat for me? Is that because I don't want to talk about trick or treating this week? Know, we'll talk about it next week. We can talk about it next week. Um, nothing fall related. We actually have parent teacher conferences tomorrow night, so Ooh, I those are nerve wracking. It is, but she's a good kid. She's really good. Uh, so we have that. Um, I'm also still coaching cheerleading. We ended our football season, but we have competitions coming up in two weeks. Ooh, yeah, first grade oh. cheerleading competitions. So we'll be Sounds talking about like that fun. next week. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Alex, where can our listeners find you? All social media under Disney Verse, D I Z N E Y V E R S E. YouTube, Instagram, check out the podcast, releases every Monday. 
Nick? You can find me on Instagram at Emotional Supports Gay Nick and all social media platforms at Sandpiper Vacations. Sarah? You can find me on the Instagram and the whatnot at Old Soul Thrift. Chris? Find me on Instagram at Chris Yob. And guess what? You can find me on whatnot at Chris Yob now, too. I was able to finally change it from my legal name to my semi legal name. <laughs> <laughs> And all of our social media links are on our website, newfriendspodcast.com. So check that out every week. All of that stuff is there. Become a Clubhouse member, a friend with benefits, if you will. That's our Patreon. You get exclusive content and uh, different giveaways, contests. And check us out on YouTube every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Now, that will be changing to Monday nights starting in November. On behalf of Giles Garman, Game Master Ryan, our producer Alex, Nick, Sarah, Chris, I'm Scott. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye bye, poopy head. Don't your friends just be old and the bold in the world of kiss where the ones you hold. Scott, Chris, Sarah, and Nick, a tale to be told. Welcome to the podcast where adulting unfolds. Where adulting unfolds.